Hi, <clears throat> it's Saturday morning, it's III, and I'm pretty sure you're all tired of all of my year in review albums, so I decided that I would show you something else that I learned from Kathy Orta. Uh, my great niece is graduating from Clemson in May, and I wanted something really special to tuck her uh, graduation present into, and when Kathy came out with the Beach Bag album, there was no question in my mind that that was what it was going to be. Now, I would love to say that I was clever enough to create this fabulous scene on the front, but that would be a lie, <clears throat> so I won't tell you that. Um, Kathy actually did hers exactly this way and I just copied it because why reinvent the wheel and hers was so beautiful. It's a really nice shaped album with, it's supposed to be belting on the straps but I couldn't find belting anywhere so I had an old shoulder strap from, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, <coughs> from a um, carry-on bag. And I just cut that up. And the added benefit to that is you get a buckle and you get two hooks as well for your stash. So, on to the album. The paper line is Graphic 45 Tropical Travelogue and it is scrumptious. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <clears throat> the tag on front is one of the tags. And I simply backed it with some cardboard and cardstock so it would have more weight and this silver charm I have had for probably 15 years just sitting in a box never knew what to do with it and I'm so excited that I finally had a purpose so this is one of the Tim Holtz closures that I always have trouble opening um, <laughs> never sure which side I'm supposed to be doing there we go um, and onto the album. The album opens this way, but of course shows this way. It has got tons and tons of real estate. It's got a um, an angled pocket on this side, a full pocket for a very large tag here, and then a slip pocket, which is I think new to this style album and. It adds no weight to the album. You can put it anywhere. You can put the slit anywhere. It is a great addition. Um, I had just gotten my silhouette. And after watching a ton of videos from Creations with Christina, Star of May, and Under a Cherry Tree on YouTube, um, I kind of figured out what I was supposed to be doing and I cut all of, I made a template and cut all of the pockets. I, you simply go in and create the size rectangle that you want. Then you put in two 1 8 inch circles in the spot that they should be in. Connect them with a very narrow rectangle. One click of a button will weld those pieces, three pieces together and you hit cut and good to go. So I was very excited about that. Now the only reason I mentioned those three people were those are the three three YouTube um, channels that I found that had really great videos. If in fact you have silhouette videos and you're watching this please leave me a comment with with your website or YouTube. I would love to see any other videos as well but for anybody just starting out with this silhouette, those three are fabulous. So anyway, um, on some of these I used the um, fold over. So there are four options for pictures there. Each of the pages is the same, but they look so different. Um, this paper is just absolutely scrumptious. <laughs> like I said, it, it's really gorgeous. Um, and it's just so, so much my niece, Dana. Um, the, the photographs, you know, the, the graphics rather are beautiful. The papers are beautiful. And uh, it was really, it's a very fun album to make. It's a very fast album to make. It looks 
far more complicated than it is. Um, I it will not be my last. Um, I have a couple of gems on the, the handle. Certainly, they don't keep it closed. It just is, you know, that's closed with hot glue. And um, we're back to that beautiful front from Kathy. Okay, thanks for, oh, before I, before I go, I know she looks a little crazy, but I was playing with Silhouette and created this paper doll, who obviously doesn't have any hair yet and um, is not finished. She's a prototype for my four-year-old granddaughter, Esme. And I can't tell you, I got the, it's Lizzie, Lizzie Paper Dolls from the Silhouette Store, and it was so easy to create just an outline and cut the paper doll, and then to size up her clothing and cut it, and I mean, a real treat. Really, really nice. Still love the Cricut Paper Dolls, but they do look a little bit like Charlie Brown, and I thought she could have something a little bit more feminine, so anyway, that's that. Thanks for watching. Bye.